Welcome to Overtime on Inferno, your weekly roundup of all the big stories in CSGO. Quicker than NA's best is worse than the EU's worst. A quick reminder to rate and review us in the end of the episode. It really helps us. I'm Logan. This is AZ-esque. Let's get into it. We're back. I have a normal microphone again. <laughs> yeah. We're, I, I've, I've always got a normal microphone. The only time I didn't was when, well, was when I was in North America. Yeah, but you still had a normal microphone. You were fine. Everything. Yeah, but not my normal microphone. It didn't feel right, you know. It was my normal microphone. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was your normal microphone. But no, there's nothing normal in America. Let's, let's get that out there. Fair. Let, let, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, all right, we got to... <laughs> Speaking of not being normal in North America. America. Yeah, uh, so we're going to start today with... What do we want to start? I think we'll start with Coach Bug, the, uh, the never-ending story. Yeah, we got. We could, there's more coaches who've been found using the bug who, for some reason, weren't named at first. We could end the podcast right here, and we'd still have gone full circle because our first episode, a year and a half ago, was about the coach bug. Was it? Wow, I'm, I, I'm I remember really getting annoyed didn't. at how much we were talking about it. Yeah, no, but, we probably talked about it twice, like it once like, a month at least. Yeah, it felt like all the time. And now it's like, oh yeah, no more more coaches used it. Like, yep, fantastic, fucking great. So like, it it's, it annoys me so much because coaches kicked up such a big fuss when Valve were like, yeah, actually, we don't really like coaches. We don't we don't trust. And they're them like, oh come on, we we you know we we're, we're so important to this. Like, blah, blah, blah. it's like, but you're all a bunch of fucking crooks. Like, <laughs> I know, and I know, not all coaches. Are, done this shit and the ones who haven't should be applauded whatever although they shouldn't really be well, you shouldn't really be applauded they, they for not fucking, fucking cheating they did their job yeah but like Correctly. come on man like it's just so fucking frustrating like what do you think valve are gonna see net like you know they're like oh we don't really trust coaches and then you like cheat i was like what do you think they're do you th- do you think they're now gonna go well, actually yeah fair enough like they might just get rid of coaches altogether because that's what they want. That's clearly what they wanted to do. And you're not fucking helping the situation by being a complete morons and cheating. It's fucking right, idiotic. So, so, context, because there was next to none in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, we've got so a bunch of other coaches should be revealed soon-ish, maybe. Um, that used coaching bugs. Now, the coach bug was not the same coach bug as before. There are actually three individual bugs here. One is a free cam, mm-hmm. which seems way worse than the original bug. Yep. Um, one is a third person cam that w- you would be on one of your players, but you'd be in third person cam mode, which means uh, you can like third person peek corners. <clears throat> yeah. Which. If you don't think it's a big problem, it was big enough of a problem in Destiny 2's PvP that they actually turned it off. Yeah, it, it's it's <laughs> it's. I mean, it's certainly not as big as a free cam, but it's still, you know, it your teammate you clear corners without going around. Yeah, the your player can sort of stand next to a wall and you can look around it for them, which yeah, you know, is an advantage, like a a pretty big one in some situations. Yeah. Um... So, and then the third one was, I think you just saw the bomb. I think your camera was like stuck on the bomb. So you couldn't, you couldn't move it anywhere, but you could see if they were faking it or not, which is in the grand scheme of things, the, the least harmful of any of these realistically, but still not very harmful, harmless. Yeah. Yeah. Still not entirely harmless. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't like. I don't know. I don't even know what it what it. it it's still. I mean, in post plant situations, you can tell if somebody's oh, yeah. sticking. You can you can maybe like see some post plant positions. Like even like a lot of the time, though they're telegraphed. It, it, it's still important. Like if you know them, you don't you have to waste time clearing angles you don't want to clear. Like it, it, it's clearly a big problem. Yeah. Uh, all of them are supposedly they're not. Um, like. Uh, going hard on people who use the bomb one because they considered it less of a priority. I think that's what um, Michelle said. Uh, yeah. So from what I remember, um, and for some reason I cannot find any information about this. As I'm, I, like, I, I'll for find it, it now. Um, um, it so from... no, I I did see I did see me ha- I'll say that. Um, but the basically the deal is is that 
Um, apparently, Isik wrapped up their investigation into the coach bug in twenty in March of twenty twenty. I believe it is no in December of twenty twenty. It was just it, uh, in October twenty twenty. Sorry, it was October third because I read the date as three slash ten, but that's not how Europeans write dates. So yes, it would be we write them 30. correctly. No disagreement, but I've been born into the month day year system. So yeah, it's, um, <laughs> makes no, no disagreement. So they they completed Coach Bug stuff in like October, right? And then in early twenty twenty one, if I remember correctly, they um, completed the other Coach Bugs, the the secondary, the free cam, the third person cam, and the bomb cam. So they've e- Isik has known for the better part of a year about the other bugs and they never it's nothing has ever come out about them yeah so what me said was the stuck on the bomb one Isik considered minor and didn't want to look into it but he did anyway um which i think says quite a lot about Isik. also that me has the goat yeah that guy's a fucking monster like he went through thousands of demos i think like just loads and loads of demos to find instances of people cheating and he found loads of them like the guy, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there was a fundraiser for him the first time around. Yeah. Um, to sort of pay him for the work that nobody was paying him to do because, you know, that that that's a hell of a lot of work for yeah, f- for what would have been just some clout. Like the, the guy, the guy deserves his dues for this. I like guess you know it's the Lord's work. Yeah, no. Um, so we we have a there's no official list of coaches yet. Um, I think there's been a couple that were rumored, but there's nothing. Supposedly, there's some pretty big names on there, but I, I, I only know, I've only heard of one person who's supposedly being banned. I'm not sure I can say it because, yeah. <laughs> but so, uh, supposedly, there's some pretty big names in there. But it there's 52 names. The uh, supposedly there's 52 names on the list. We we know of maybe one. Well, so I think I think it's I think it's like there's already been thirty odd, and I think it's like another fifteen or so. Do you think it's another another twenty two? I think that's what it is. is. Uh, Maybe I don't know. Regardless of whatever it is, there should be another wave coming. But obviously, Isik is working at a slow pace, so maybe we'll uh, we'll find out when we find out about the NA match fixing skin. I I believe Dexerto named Valens as one of the coaches. To be fair, we knew that months ago. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he was never a for- formally hit by Isik, yeah. but we knew that months ago, and we we had an entire conversation about this because I remember we. <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, I don't want to spend any more time on the coach bug because we spend way too much time on this. <laughs> um, when we have a list of names, we'll spend a little bit more time on it about the names. Uh, but the first wave of coach bug things is actually coming up. I know that Regin's coach bug hiatus or punishment is up like next month or something like that so the first wave of like two-year bans should be um hitting now um, yeah so i don't know if you saw the interview with Regin with uh with a colleague of mine uh Jos van dossel um he where he said he believes he's one of the best coaches in the world I, and anyone who disagrees anyone who disagrees doesn't know what they're talking about and you know what fucking love that level of confidence in yourself I, like seriously i love that level of confidence in you yourself. know what if he comes back and gets a tier one job and immediately turns yeah. a or a tier two job and immediately turns a tier two team into a tier one team you know what i'm not i'm, I'm not sure i yeah. can disagree there, like there's, I, I, there's a point where <laughs> you know fair, you have fair. to you have to believe it right you have yeah. to believe you are one of the best at your job <laughs> in the world if you're at that level i i can't say that i I, I don't have enough insight to say yes, he is or no, he isn't. <laughs> Mouse sports were pretty good when he was their coach. Yeah, I mean, like it, it, it really does. Like it's really difficult to tell the impact of a coach from an outside perspective. Yeah. Um, the only person's word we have on it is his own. Yeah. So, yeah. and he says he's really good. So I have no reason to disbelieve yeah. him. That's, <laughs> I, we only need one source, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if Regin says he's good. That's it. He's good. Yeah, I mean. Exactly. Um, so let's move on to uh, let's move on to Group C in Pro League. So this was the group with Liquid and kind of sort of Gambit and Movie Star Riders and Party Astronauts. And so Liquid and players, obviously, one of them got first place. And no, wait, some 
some dragon got first place. Yeah, big <laughs> chunky, big thick dragon. So yeah, Movistar Riders came out of this group five zero. Yeah, uh, as expected. Game of it, as as, expected. as yeah, Every, um, as everyone thought, you know. <laughs> to be fair, this other than Movistar getting first place, the rest of this group went exactly as expected. And right? we, and we I, I believe we did have Movistar. I, I was quite high on them coming third. Or yeah, maybe, we had them in maybe playoffs. second. We we definitely had them in playoffs because uh, for quick reminder, the group was Movistar players, Liquid, Big, Godsent, Party Astronauts. Between the two of us, we had no faith in Party Astronauts. We just wanted them to have a fun time. Um, I, I, I I almost had more faith in Party Astronauts than I had in Big. <laughs> we had no faith in Big either, and our Godsent faith is low. It's uh, look, if they had Phelps. I don't consider story, it. but it's uh, but without Phelps, no Phelps, no party, not interesting. <laughs> so basically, there are only three teams that could realistically get out of this. Uh, we were just a little off on the order. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I I don't feel too bad that I didn't predict Movistar Riders to beat both Liquid and Players. Gambit. Yeah, I I I, I don't like as I I think I tweeted after they won the game one like ah oh, they might finish second in this group, and there were and um. Pitu, uh, Spanish caster, was like, oh, you, you don't, you don't believe it. I was like, no, no, no. They might finish second, but they also might finish first. A sort of jokingly, but they actually just, they just won every game, and the uh, they were, but they were also the only, only team, only team to lose a map to party astronauts. They, you, you know, like there was always that joke about like how VP every one of their games goes long, and like it doesn't matter who you are, you go to thirty rounds with them. It's like no matter who you are, you'll go to three maps with Marvel Star Riders. <laughs> like I think they had one two zero. Oh. Yeah, I think that I think they won, and it was against Big. Yeah, yeah. See, I told you, probably astronauts are better than Big. <laughs> I, we have it confirmed. I mean, they yeah. have more maps off the. They, the ign- ignore the group. the group. Ignore the group. Ignore the ignore game the, against each other. Like, ignore the fact that they lost two zero against each other. It, just just don't, ignore that part. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, like I, I no Marvy. I thought they were a good team, but not a great team. I, my opinion hasn't changed. Uh, I don't think that's at all a hot take. I don't think they're gonna do like, like go that far or anything. Mm-hmm. But it's not like it's not the first time we've seen them have a good performance at a good at a big tournament. They did really well at IM Fall. It was immediately I, followed by two bad ones. But I think they're just extremely inconsistent, which I think we can all agree on. I I think. They're quite consistent. It's just the teams above them are inconsistent. Okay, that also I think sense. they maintain quite a, they're quite a, you know, a, a quite a decent level because they're not like they're not a team where they have like wildly inconsistent firepower. I think Sun Pius is clearly really good, mm-hmm. and then it's like the rest of them are decent without being standout play. It's not like a case where they have somebody like a Madden who can just like. Some days as a tier one player, and some days just isn't. It's not yeah. like they have a player like that. It's just they're they're quite a consistent level, but the teams in sort of like sixth to fifteenth place, the teams around them are all going to be pretty inconsistent. Because if they were consistently good, it'd be a better team. You know, teams like Liquid are quite inconsistent. Yeah. Whereas I think Movistar maintain a similar level. <clears throat> Let's move down the list of the group. So players, uh, four and one, only lost to party, uh, to, not to party astronauts. <laughs> only lost wish. to party astronauts. Who went five and zero. Um, well. <laughs> only lost to Movie Star. Um, I I don't think anyone yeah. had an issue with how players looked in this. Um, yeah, they looked fine. They, they looked the, their normal selves. Shiro yeah. still a bait and piece of shit. I'm sorry, but he's still on. really good. So for context for everyone, I I have a class open on my laptop. Because reason. <laughs> and my professor just took a bicycle wheel out and is now showing it on the screen <laughs> and you've got no idea because you're not listening I have Bad no student. idea i was very distracted by the bicycle wheel. You, you better hope he doesn't listen to this podcast <laughs> <laughs> we can edit right. that out in post it's fine back to pro league um play edit that out fun. during another one of his lectures <laughs> Players looked fine. Uh, I, I have not much to say about them. I mean, yeah, like w- w- this is exactly the performance we're used to from them. I feel like they go in four and one in every single group stage they're in. The only, the only like thing I have to say about players is uh, keep keep your eye on like rumor mill for players because there was this rumor two weeks ago or whatever that 
they might be trying to leave Gambit and Groove moving to the coach role and out of the sporting director role or whatever kind of alludes to that a little bit. So don't be surprised if we see a move from uh, organization move. Um, but that's, I mean, that, that's literally all I have to say about them. They looked normal. Um, yeah, they're, 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 they're still really good. Like they, they might have some like land, like shakiness in playoffs, but they stomp every single group stage. Like, when was the last time they went out in a group? It just doesn't happen. No, it doesn't happen. Um, so, third place, the last place in this uh, group making the uh, playoffs is going to be Liquid, um, yeah. who lost to both players and Movistar, beat everyone below them 2 0. Honestly, reasonably, I don't expect them to win to, against players. Um, and Movistar was just real good. Um, I will say, uh, I wasn't that high on Liquid, but the the sort of caveat for them was always, like, they finally signed a young North American player and given him a star role. Yeah. And they were, like, really banking on OC being really good. And he was. And he is. I, I wouldn't even say he was. He is. He yeah. is really good. And the sort of, the, the way Liquid become back to the top five is they just like really bank on OC and the way he's playing it looks like a decent bet like this is kind of what I I, like you watch OC and Junior and they weren't that far apart in tier two play OC was a little bit better he was a little bit more consistent Junior was a bit more explosive a bit maybe a better clutcher at times but and you know he had more off games you watch the the difference at tier one it's insane like OC looks like the same player playing yeah. against better players, whereas Junior looks like a completely different one. Yeah. Um, and, like, OC is just really fucking good. Like, yeah. L- like Liquid are actually kind of scary now because he is actually that good. I mean, obviously, they're still going to have some issues with, like, Shocks and a Valorant player on the same team. But Yeah. <laughs> um, <let's laughs> I don't know if you saw the, the video of, um, you know, Elise kept saying, like, oh, watch that game from my perspective, the 1 and yeah, 17. The, he went 1 and 16, was it, on Dust 2? Yeah, he had a 0. 0.06 rating or something like that. Yeah, and he was like, look, watch the game from my perspective. There was nothing I could do. I watched uh, Vu's video from Elise's perspective. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He didn't have much chance. There were a few kind of bad decisions. There was there was one round where he, they, it was on Dust 2. And they have like the short smokes up and they Terrible flash record. over for him to drop into CT. You know, you, you know that play where you pretend to take short. One guy gets into CT with a flash yep. uh, and then four people run out mid to B. Yep. Uh, or, or one guy's in tunnels, three out mid to B. You split B with a lurker to cut off rotates. Mm-hmm. He's in CT. Shiro pulls, I don't know. Like I didn't even know. I don't even know why Gambit have a set flash for this. He like flashes into CT and it's the perfect flash. He's full blind. Hobbit just runs through the smoke and kills him. It's like, who has a set flash to flash their own fucking spawn? There's like, I felt so bad for Elise seeing that. It's like, there's, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> it's absurd. So I want to talk a little bit more about Elise because Elise was on that other Counter-Strike podcast this week. Um, and he said, he said a couple things I want to talk about. Um, the first being is that he does not think Nitro is back to his pre uh, Valorante child game form. Um, have you never heard that before? <laughs> no, I have. It's just funny every time. <laughs> Literally every time we write Valorant newsletter, Valorante child game. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so good. Um, but he he said that Nitro is maybe at seventy percent right now, and that they're they're still trying to integrate people and. A lot of what he said was vi- like very much. I I I'm I'm buying I'm, I'm drinking the liquid Kool Aid, right? Not that I hadn't previously, but like a lot of what he said kind of hit me, like quelled my fears a little bit, right? He talked about how shocks and Naf on the same team, you have two lurkers, and his explanation was that was yeah, they're two different types of lurkers. Every team has two different types of lurkers. Yeah. Like, that yeah, literally, no, it, was just, it was just like, yeah, Shox is the ultra aggro ur- lurker and Naf is the passive lurker. It's it's just really pronounced on this team as opposed to other teams, but like every team has this. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, like watching complexity early, the amount of times she's like Fang would normally be the like hard entry player, but unlike Ancient, there were rounds where he was the backstabber, and you're like, yeah, yeah it's like, just it's just the way it's the way the default evolves. Like sometimes you default planning to go towards A, you have to mid round towards B. Somebody else becomes the entry frag. So yeah, it's, exactly. it's not necessarily an issue. Yeah, no. So it's like the the more the more I hear about this, the better things are um, in my head, right? And then I want to talk. Did you see the uh, the twists interview? Uh, possibly, but I don't remember. So there's a twist interview, and I don't remember who it was by. And I'm talking out of my ass right now because I don't have it pulled <laughs> up. But there's a twist interview that was very much on the like Stewie wanted things a certain way on the last team, and then everyone else was like no, and Stewie was like no. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, that, that's what we always hear which, about Liquid, right? Well, y- yes, that's the thing. So basically, I'm I'm a lot more hopeful. And I heard I heard Sponge say something on that other podcast, which was basically along the lines of, what does Liquid need to do? And he was just like, time. And it's because, yeah, yeah you, you have a brand new team. You kept two players from your old team, right? Two and a half. Let's say Nitro's half of a player, right? But he's transitioning. <laughs> I'd say Shox is half of a player, but for uh, very no, no, different no. reasons. <laughs> I, I mean, Nitro's half a player on the. <laughs> I know. Been I on know the what team you, forever, I know right? what you meant. But he's also transitioning back from Valorante Child game. Shox is coming into a brand new system. Um, Like, OC is coming to Tier 1 for the first time. Give them like three minutes. It's been two months of like zero yeah. games that they've played. So like, and, and OC looks really good. Like he looks yeah. like he could be the like a, a genuine star. Like I I was not high on this team when it was announced, um, and I'm still not convinced Shocks Nitro are good enough. But the the one caveat to that was maybe OC is that good that this team could still be good, and it seems like he is. I, I think he is, and again. I I have I'm I'm high on nitro. You so. are you are huffing copium, <laughs> huffing copium, man. And a hopium. Um. All right, let's move on to Group D, which is currently going on. And by oh, currently, God. I mean like literally right now is going on. <laughs> um. <laughs> so we had the fourth longest game in Counter Strike history take place on day one between Navi and a Strout. Nope, not a Strauss. Between Navi and her. No sh- shit, not her. Between Navi and even Evid- Nope. Fuck. Navi no, there's, there's no way no. Evil Geniuses would last no, this long. No, it was Navi and AGO. I feel like if Evil Geniuses had a 70-something round map, they'd have made two roster moves by the end of it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're going to make a roster move by the end of this group. Yeah, a go looked pretty good, though. Like, they were very much the, the team... Sort of nobody knew what to expect. Like they got to pro league, so they must be decent, right? But yeah, they, they're clearly the smallest name in this group. But they yeah. are. I mean, plenty of the players are players we've all heard of. Like Furlan has been around for ages, ages. and he's pretty decent. I mean, um, yeah. I think Ultima is one I didn't know. Who's the Orpa? Um, I think Fiku. Now I'm re- trying to remember who else is in there off the top of my head. Lehman it's not and Lehman. Uh, yeah. Uh, Milky. Oh yeah, I think it's just Milky. I think it's just said. That's there's what a, the, the casters were saying anyway. There's a fucking W in the middle, man. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's, it's Polish though, isn't it? Like they just use W. They use like Zs as commas. It's mad. They don't, <laughs> but it looks like it. Have you ever seen uh, like? I don't know if you've ever heard of. There's a footballer called Jacob Blaszczykowski, and there's like a common, like a Z sound, which is. Mm-hmm. Um, spell S Z C Z, which obviously, um, people who, who aren't used to seeing Polish just look at that and just just sort of they just get themselves into a, a like. But that's a real like. If you see an S Z C Z, it's just a zh, and like it's it's not like a like people really like screw it up. They're like they just it's S Z C Z just zh. that's that's a good that's a good little trick for Polish. But yeah, they just use Z's and W's like mad. They love it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that happened. Um, so super long overtime game. Uh, fourth longest, I believe the, the number is. It The game went to uh, 37 and 34 <laughs> for a total yeah. of a metric shit ton of rounds that I'm not going to count up. Um, uh, hang on. <laughs> they say don't do maths on air, but we're sort of on air. 37, 34, 71. Sure, 71 rounds. Um, 
I, honestly, I forgot I could add those two numbers up. I was looking at CT side, T sides, and then the overtime. So yeah, I was trying you, to could do just, that. You, could, you could just add 37 and 34. 71 rounds. This is why I'm in American school. Don't which is which is like two maps were. But the funny thing is, it's Navi won the first map. Navi won the first map 16 1. <laughs> Like the the mental fortitude by eight by a go to just get sixteen to one and then play for two more maps, yeah, like without two more winning one full maps. It's like somehow there's a it's a two zero with eighty eight rounds, and yet seventy one of those came in one map. Like, like the maps just don't make any sense. How? How do you go from a seventeen round, like seventeen round map on map one, to a seventy one round, map, and you don't win either? Like that's fucking gutting. At least you know if you're a go that you can hit with the best of them, right? Because like, yeah. sure, maybe your dust two you can't, but maybe your mirage. They won enough rounds to win two maps and lost two zero. Yeah, that's so sad. <laughs> Thankfully for them, though, like just before we we started recording. Uh, they, beat, they like they kind of actually. beat complexity, which look. I really <laughs> wanted to think this complexity team was good. Like I was really, like I really wanted to believe this team is you, good. You were high on the NA Copium. J- Junior also wanted to believe this team is good. He he was out there saying oh like, God. oh, you know, we're we're fifty fifty the best team in NA With between liquid, us yeah. and Liquid. Which, thank you, Junior, for not mentioning Evil Geniuses as yeah. a good team in North America. Um, it's going to look Americans even funnier when they you. lose to EG. North Americans, thank you. Look, <laughs> Liquid had an had an easier group. They had an easier group, but <laughs> Complexity lost to a go. Like, yeah, that's kind of well. Well, to be fair, if if you took if, if we talked about this two days ago, right? We're recording on Thursday, so if we talked about this on Tuesday, okay. If you said complexity lost to a go, you would have gone, what the fuck happened? But today, now you can go, complexity lost to a go who took Navi to 71 rounds on a single map. Yeah, but and then you go, well, maybe there's something there. Yeah, but come on. like, If you're going to get out of this group, and that should be complexity's aim, like, I don't see... You know, if you genuinely think you're the best team in NA, you have to be better than Evil Genius is. And the way Astralis are playing... You like you have to think right. This is an opportunity for us to finish above Australia, oh, and to we... do that, you probably have to fucking beat a go. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I'm I'm moving on from complexity for half a second because we need to talk about config. Um, it's Ninja Diffuse against North America. Oh god, this is so bad. Like I <laughs> round one of the first map. Pistol round, config left in a 1v4, and he ninja diffuses because evil geniuses can't get their shit together. Like, if if group C uh, liquid coming out, you're like, right, finally, and it, like, you know, this is a it's a win for NA, and then like day one of like day one and two of the next group, you have evil geniuses talking over the diffuse noise so they don't hear it. Which I don't know if you've seen the comms video. But they're like talk. They're like like talking. But oh yeah, you know, they're, they're talking about the round and how how good it was. So they don't hear the diffuse noise, and they get ninjured in the first fucking round of a game. You have complexity losing to a go, and I think they lost to heroic as well, right? Which you know everyone loses to heroic here and there. It happens. <laughs> um, but it's like immediately NA is just dragged back down to earth. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we lost. We lost to the. We lost to like the the. What twentieth? I think they're the, the lowest ranked team in the event. Who I go? I believe. I think certainly by uh, ESL world ranking. Party astronauts, I believe, are. I think no, ESL. Oh, in the group or in the in the tournament? I, in the tournament? I guess LFO. Uh, LFO. LFO. Though, LFO. Yeah. Uh, but they're like I think about the ESL's world ranking. They showed on stream they're like hundredth in the world. Like, is this like is this just what NA is now? Like, is the practice really that bad that we're just like we just, you just don't win these games anymore. I don't know. Like, as much as it's fun to like rail on AA for being bad, like it's it's actually just really sad at this point. Even for somebody who doesn't like Americans, it's really sad. It's extremely sad. <laughs> um, it's just it's depressing. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> uh, may, maybe there's some hope. Maybe EG can still do it. <laughs> they play Navi later today. No, because, okay, you know that thing where it's like you're a bandwagon fan, right? And so yeah. you just become a fan of a team. I... If I if I wanted to become a fan of a European team at this point, I'd just be called a bandwagoner. I, I yeah. don't have a choice at this point because I'm too See, far that's in. The thing. We've like, England's never been good at CS. Yeah, so you're so, good. I, so I I was free to go to I, and and to be fair, I picked North. So like nobody can <laughs> accuse me of being a glory hunter either. No, um, but like I picked Liquid years and years ago, and I can't. I, hey, I don't really look, have a choice at this at, point. At least they're a European team in League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> but for reference for those who don't follow that they're, they're in the na league um uh, but they have no na players they have a belgian top laner uh a danish danish, danish jungler, jungler mid laner a korean support and, and a, a french, french bot laner. Laner. Yeah. yeah you know what those two danish uh the the two danes they qualify as americans right now yeah exactly so it's it, look at least it's not just cs where NA is doomed. I, I find it really funny that Liquid's League of Legends team has a bunch of Europeans living in LA and Liquid's Counter-Strike team has a bunch of Americans living in, uh, in the Holland. Netherlands. In Netherlands, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it's mad, isn't it? Like <laughs> the way <laughs> it's so Oh god. Like I don't know. I, I do I do kind of feel bad, but I really wanted Complexity to be good, but they just like the amount of clutches, like three, like five v threes, four v twos, they just throw for no reason is infuriating. Even if you want them to lose, it's infuriating to watch. They just play these situations so badly, and like Junior just does not look like the player I thought he looked like yeah. previously. Like he just misses so many shots. Yeah, um, but. On a plus side for complexity, because there is one that has nothing to do with this event, is a couple weeks ago at RMR, they got through, and from Twitterverse, it looks like Valve is going back to everyone gets stickers. Pog. Which means I mean, you get to I, I, buy yeah. your bang sticker. <laughs> cool. You get to give the Dallas Cowboys some more of your money so that way yeah. you can have a, have a fucking JT sticker. The Dallas Cowboys really needed my money. I mean, it, it has Floppy already got stickers? No, because there's Is no he... way. There's going to be so many floppy and Dick Stacy oh stickers God, put together, I... isn't there? I feel like they're. Mo- I feel like he. No, might. there, there they... isn't. Uh, no, okay. there isn't. Well, they, he, they everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. Is just going to be big floppy, floppy Dick Stacy. Yeah. Like, no, big floppy fantastic. Dick energy. Ah, excellent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and on that note, let's move on to the last part. Um, <laughs> we didn't even talk about like. Anyone else in this group? I don't think anyone else in this group deserves talking. Yeah, about Navi it are gonna, um, Navi and her are gonna, gonna get win. out, yeah, and now complexity of dog shit. Astralis are gonna come third. Yeah, um, maybe a go come third. Who knows? Let's talk about Navi um, because the president of Navi, owner, CEO, person in charge, head honcho, um, big man, big man. <laughs> he uh, he came out. He did an article with I think it was Wapo, uh, Washington Post, uh, right? Um, their gaming wing which is called launcher or some shit like that I don't know, reputable news source um he did not he did an interview with them and during the interview he said that they are done doing business with the russians full stop um anyone that pays taxes to russia i believe was the it was the exact yes wording. yeah anyone um, who, who gives money to the russian government essentially in which including is players um so he doesn't want to cut any of his players but if the players want to live in Russia, he's not going to roster them anymore, basically. Um, so the teams that this affects is there's a bunch of like small mobile game teams that he says that is being worked out with already. Um, I believe it affects their Dota team like a smidgen. There's like one player or some shit. Um, but what it really affects is their Counter Strike team where there's three players, right? You have Perfecto, you have Electronic, and you have Boomich. Um, we have to go back and talk about Boomich, but that's a separate thing. Um, so those three players, right, currently do live in Russia. Uh, Boomich has a wife in Russia. Electronic has a kid in Russia. Um, uh, Navi is willing to like help with relocation, obviously, out of Russia. But basically, those players need to kind of decide to move out of Russia. Otherwise, they are no longer. Which on is the- a really difficult decision to make, especially for somebody like Electronic. Like as you say, he's got a wife and children. Like he's got a kid. Like, and I imagine. 
you know, his kids probably grown up in like there aren't that many countries that speak Russia. I, I don't think you know. Speak Russian. Uh, sorry, speak Russian is what I meant to say. It's because I, I I thought of something as I was saying it. I was going, I was going oh yeah, there's like places like Belarus, but that's they're an ally of Russia. I can't see Navi yeah. being particularly big fans of that. Yeah. I wouldn't want to move to Ukraine at this moment in time. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, um, so like, if I I no I don't know how good uh, electronics like English is. I don't know if he speaks any other languages. Um. But also, like, how many countries are going to be taking in, like, Russians who want to move out? Like, yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult for him to move to a different country with a young kid, get them into school. You know, like, that's a massive decision to make for electronic. That's I, I, and the same for Boomin Perfecto as well, right? But it's it's just it's a different a level kid, for them, right? Yeah, with a kid, it's a massive like, decision. Per- Perfecto, as far as we're aware, like single young guy right he, he that's that's easy enough yeah like, i don't know i, I don't know I enough say, about him. i say easy but like it's easy enough to uproot your life and just move somewhere for a job yeah like it's obviously not ideal but it's not ideal like yeah it fucking sucks but like you you can do that um did, I, and then there's... i think the the problem navi might have is if say somebody like electronic khan do boomich and perfecto go through with it like if the team, if you're losing electronic, do you say, yeah, we stick together as four, we'll find a fifth, we'll call up head trick, you know, yeah. whatever it is, or do you, do you go, well, the five isn't sticking together anyway. I don't want to uproot my whole life. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. know. There's, I, I, it's difficult. It's really tough. No, yeah, it is. It is definitely a difficult thing. Um, and electronic. So I. There's there's also this like the other thing that could happen, which is electronic stays in Russia, right? And then you go, well, where where does he go? Because he's he's too good of a player not to just be on a team, mm-hmm. right? And there's definitely some orgs that will do business with Russian players, right? There's it's not like this is an ESL or something saying anyone that's paying taxes to Russia needs to stop paying taxes to like it's not that it, this is a Navi thing, right? So but theoretically, Russian like, visas Russian visas are going to be really difficult to. Uh, like this line of work even if you can find an org it's still going to be very difficult to continue if the 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 conflict the war if that continues for much longer it's going to be very difficult to continue this line of work anyway yeah so uh basically uh world politics is preventing um counter-strike i I think um g2 have already started or have already gotten Monacy, they have Serbian, Serbian citizenship. They have yeah. Serbian citizenship for Monacy. They got it uh, like right at the beginning of the war. I think he's yeah. been living with Nico. Um, I believe so. Yeah, but yeah, he he's had C- Serbian citizenship, which was I think that was part like whole plan involved. Um, and I know a lot of um, I know a lot of the players aren't going back in between events um, for a variety of reasons. Um, but I know that like. I know Liquid is headquartering a bunch of players. I know G2, I think, was headquartering some players. Um, yeah. I And none of them being players, as far as I'm aware. But because, um, yeah, that, that, I, it, I, I feel I feel the need now to, to confirm that because they named their team so stupidly. Um, <laughs> I, I like that really took me that really took, I was like, they're housing some players, and then you went none of which are players. I thought you meant like coaches and stuff. No, so I, I, no you mean none of the. I mean the team players bit. because. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's such a difficult situation, right? Like for for everyone, but I I do feel bad for people like Electronic, who like he himself has obviously done nothing wrong, and yep. might have to uproot his whole family yep. just to continue doing the job that pays the bills and that he loves doing. Like that's exactly it's fucking dark, man. Uh, I think with that, uh, very dark ending today. Yeah, I mean, like, not everything's fucking roses, right? No, especially in Counter Strike. I mean, Config got a one v four Ninja Diffuse, so everything's obviously not roses. Yeah, like NA is just everything is, is, just, is. If you're if you're living in North America or the CIS region, everything is terrible. That's basically what we've learned today. <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm not sure I'd conflate the two, but... No. no. Totally different levels, but... <laughs> yeah, one of them is being bad at Counter-Strike. The other one is... Well... Yeah. All know. right. 
<laughs> destruction of, of your uh, your way of living. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, uh, we're going to be done for this week. You can follow us on Twitter at, at IzzyEsk, at ReadTLDR, and at LogiGramHap. I just realized I switched the order of those Twitters up, and I have no clue why. You'll find us again next week when we will have full playoff picture for ESL Pro League. Punk. And, I don't know, probably like one more coach released for Coaching Bug. Yeah, it's going to trickle out, isn't it? God. See ya. (laughs) All right. End of it.